Hey everyone, uh, Eric here over at HK Constrictors. I just wanted to do a real quick video on a, a size comparison uh, as far as uh, two five-year-old female uh, Peruvian girls. You can see here this one is pretty solid. Uh, she is a Rio Bravo Pucalpa. I've had her since she was about a year old um, and she's just, she's enormous. You can see just the, the body mass on her. I'm not sure how much she weighs. She's probably around six and a half feet. Um, just awesome golden uh, color throughout, kind of like what you see in, in Vin Russo's book with the classic Rio Bravo look as they darken as they get older. Uh, she's actually tamed out the older she gets. Uh, she used to be pretty uh, nippy. She'd strike at the glass a lot. But you can just see the solid the thickness of her body. She's just really cool snake. I typically w like to wait and, uh, so far until they're about six years old, but just from the sheer mass of her, um, I think she might be ready to pair up this winter, so I'll give it a try. Um, just haven't decided which male I want to pair her up with yet. Um, I might just try to keep the, the bloodlines pure with her um, and use the male that produced our, our small litter last year. Um, her head is starting to flatten out more as she gets older, uh, but she's... Uh, She's just a real nice example um, of what a Pucalpa Peruvian um, can look like. She has thinner saddles. I know a lot of, like a couple of the other Pucalpas I have had the blockier look to them. Um, but who knows if they're Pucalpa or Quitos anymore. There's always an argument about it. Uh, but she just, uh, as far as bloodlines are concerned, she's technically a, a Pucalpa since she's a Rio Bravo bloodline. Hope you guys like her. Now let's take a look at the uh, Palmaville five-year-old who is still good size, but nothing near uh, the size of this girl. This girl, as you can see, <laughs> does not get out very often. So she's gonna take a minute to calm down, so I might as well show you how long it takes. So I had to get a snake hook to get her out. So if she got a hold of me, that would not be fun. You can see that she's a little jumpy. Primarily just because I don't get her out as often as I should. She's pretty cage defensive. So we'll see how this goes. But you can see, like I said, she was Born in late fall 2016, uh, Jim Palmaville produced him, produced her uh, himself, and I bought her and her brother from him back in, uh, had him in the spring then, after she was born. But you can see these are, if I had to have just one bloodline of Peruvian, it would probably be these. And I'm pretty sure she's going to nail me at any minute here. <laughs> she's not calming down. So you kind of get the idea. Uh, she's thick. I'd say the other girl is about 20% bigger. Um, I haven't gotten her out in a while. Like she's substantially bigger than the last time I got her out and held her. So she probably weighs, she feels like 15 to 18 pounds maybe. And the other one is about probably 20 pounds. Um, she's probably around six feet, I would guess. Uh, the one I just put in there when I watched her crawl into her cage, she's probably getting close to seven feet at this point. Um, but you can really see the, the awesome Pomaville pattern that that he's known for, or this bloodline's known for, basically. There's a few different breeders out there that have these, so we're starting to see a few more produced, which is great for everyone because this, this pattern and bloodline is fairly hard to come by right now. Uh, the people that do produce them, Pretty much hang on to them at this point so you guys know I like to just keep one or two holdbacks and get the rest out to you as soon as they're established um, so I don't do wait lists or anything like that um, the odds of me getting successful breeding from these guys compared to surinams is substantially lower um, anybody that's produced Peruvians knows that these are a lot more difficult to breed than say a Suriname or a Guyana so um, hope you like her I'm dripping in sweat now from trying to hang on to her. So, 
Guess it's a win since I did not get bit. So that's good news. I still have to put her back in her cage though, so we still got time to get bit. Um, you can get an idea of the size of her head here. So she's just a awesome girl. So I will put her back now and see if I can uh, make it two for two without getting struck at. All right, guys. Hope you liked it. Have a great rest of your weekend.